Uh, greetings. Uh, let us talk about an important concept in managing a patient with upper GI bleeding. So here is a 35 year old gentleman who presents to the emergency room with a coffee ground emesis on a Friday night. No history of melanoma or syncope and no other medical problems and he does not take any medications. And when you look at his vitals, heart rate of 82 per minute, respirations 14 per minute, and blood pressure of 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury. Labs look good. Hemoglobin 14 grams per deciliter, BUN 15 milligrams per deciliter. Rest of the labs look normal. Uh, with this story, you ask yourself, could you discharge the patient or should you admit the patient? How do you go about it? You could use uh, Glasgow Blatchford score. This was developed in uh, Scotland. And this is a risk assessment score for patients presenting with upper GI bleed and you apply the score on admission. And uh, you could actually go to a smartphone or a computer and uh, look for Glass Glasgow Blatchford Score Calculator and you can plug in the variables. Uh, let us look at the various variables. These include melanoma, syncope, liver disease, heart failure, heart rate, systolic blood pressure, hemoglobin, and BUN. And each one has a particular uh, score. And what does this mean? What are we looking at when we are looking at the Blatchford score? When you look at melanoma, basically you're evaluating whether the patient had a GI bleeding of significance. Uh, just a hematemesis without melena uh, in the Glasgow Blatchford score uh, does not have any points, something to keep in mind. So this patient came in with coffee ground emesis. Coffee ground emesis, you take it as hematemesis, but that itself has no uh, scoring points. So one is uh, you're looking at whether the patient had a GI bleed of significance or not. And second is you are going to evaluate by symptoms, vital signs, and laboratory tests whether there is significant volume loss. So let's go down the scoring and see uh, these various parameters. So syncope, so if somebody came in with uh, hematemesis and says, hey, I felt dizzy, uh, that is syncope, that means the patient must have lost significant amount of blood. Unless uh, he fainted because of a vasovagal, that's a different issue. Vital signs, tachycardia and hypotension are clinical uh, evidence uh, of volume loss. And then when you look at uh, a dropping hemoglobin and uh, increasing BUN and creatinine, laboratory evidence of volume loss. So we have three different parameters to identify volume loss. Syncope, tachycardia, and hypotension, and then dropping hemoglobin and rising BUN and creatinine, and rising BUN especially. And in addition to the GI bleed and volume loss, there is one other thing that is included in the scoring, whether the patient has comorbid conditions. If a patient has a coffee ground emesis and has liver disease like cirrhosis, 
you have to wonder whether it's a varicell bleeding and in that case you should admit the patient and not discharge the patient so comorbid conditions are the third factors so let us look at it together so here is the scoring on the right side and what each of those parameters indicate uh, they indicate whether the patient had bleeding that is gi bleeding and whether the bleeding was of significant volume loss and then whether there are any other comorbid conditions that could uh, interfere with the management especially if you plan to discharge the patient so having learned uh, about the glasgow blatchford score let's go back to the case and uh, here is this patient 35 year old who had coffee ground emesis he had no syncope no medical problems vitals not normal and labs normal his glasgow blatchford score is 0 so what uh, they have shown is in various studies a score of less than 1 identifies a patient that is at very low risk for significant upper gi bleeding and that such patients could be discharged instead of admitting them especially over a weekend and then putting them in the hospital for endoscopy and when you discharge them you have to keep in mind that they should have a follow up with a gastroenterologist for endoscopy workup or whatever workup that is necessary during the follow up in addition to having a follow up visit and that could be done very soon uh, after the discharge in the next few days one should also keep in mind if you let the patient go home does the patient have the support system that allows him to come back to the hospital quickly if he were to have recurrence of the gi bleed so you have to keep in mind uh, not only the scoring but the social structure and also the healthcare services that are available locally to decide whether you could discharge a patient especially when their score is less than 1 which identifies a patient as having uh, having a very low risk for recurrent bleeding i hope this is useful i would urge you to read the latest issue of the american journal of gastroenterology uh, guidelines on upper gi bleeding very beautifully done and uh, this has come in 2021 thank you